Some people have wondered how we get the spectacular aerial video and aerial photography that you see in our videos. Uh, we don't own an aircraft or anything like that. What we do is we use an electric art, uh, helicopter, a radio controlled helicopter. Now I never uh, flew uh, airplanes or helicopters uh, before. I was never a hobbyist. Uh, but we figured we needed something in the air uh, that could carry a camera uh, that was the least expensive way but give us the most control. And although uh, getting into RC uh, aircrafts, uh, helicopters and airplanes can be quite expensive, um, it probably for what it does is the, the least expensive way to get really good aerial video and um, aerial photography. If it was just still shots that we were after, uh, a balloon or something less expensive uh, would work. But we wanted to get motion video, um, aerial shots, chase video, and uh, nice panoramics. So uh, to do that, we use this guy right here. Uh, it's an electric helicopter. Um, this is uh, referred to uh, for those are, who are RC fans uh, radio, of radio controlled uh, equipment. This is uh, what we call um, the T Rex 600. It's large enough to carry a, a small camera. Uh, this one here, as you see, we simply mount it on the, uh, right on the canopy. And believe it or not, that does the job. This is a really good camera. Uh, but we do have one that mounts to the um, uh, to the struts. This is a fixed camera mount that attaches to the bottom. The helicopter actually rests right here. Uh, and these straps uh, tie down the helicopter and carry this. And this is the uh, camera plate uh, where you can put multiple uh, different types of cameras. I have put uh, a GoPro on the front end here uh, to get it out front because it is a wide angle and I catch these, uh, sometimes you'll see these little orange struts um, Sometimes I'll do it this way, and I'll mount this on the front, get this, get this further out forward. But this is a, a real simple system. They do have ones where you can actually control, um, uh, you know, it's a, it's a gimbal essentially that can control which way the camera is facing. So even if the helicopter is going one way, the camera can turn. This one doesn't do that. This is a fixed camera, a fixed camera mount. So when you see the shots where I'm flying and panning around, a particular um, uh, object I'm using this camera mount but what I'm doing is I'm flying the camera uh, I'm flying I'm flying the the helicopter and the camera and I have to turn the helicopter and fly it sideways in order to get the shot so uh, that's a that's a little bit trickier than having if I had a remote that I could control the camera mount with I would need another operator, somebody to fly the helicopter, and somebody to operate the camera remote. Uh, two different systems. But that's not what we're doing here. Uh, this is real simple, real, as lowest budget, uh, uh, the lowest budget I could get, and it still sets you back uh, several thousand dollars. So you don't want to crash these. So I'm going to show you how we actually, uh, how I learned how to fly these things. And out of all the different aircrafts, um, Airplanes, helicopters, and what like, uh, th the helicopters are by far the most difficult to fly. Um, it's not like the ones you buy in the store that have these uh, reversing helicopter blades. Th these are very difficult to fly, and so you have to know what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to crash them. This one here, uh, I had to build it myself. I do not enjoy doing things like that, but they told me if I ever had to repair it, um, it'd be especially in the field where there's no experts I should become an expert at putting this together and uh, and knowing what all the parts are so I took uh, about three weeks of my time in between uh, uh, pro other projects and I put this thing together and then this right here is what controls everything um, this is the radio control has an antenna and uh, we use this to actually control the helicopter when we take off the canopy, to show you what's what's under the hood, um, we have our electric motor and we have a series of batteries here. The largest battery, this one here, takes care of the power to the motor. The uh, smaller battery here actually powers the uh, what we call servos that control all the ailerons and um, uh, control maneuvers the helicopter. Alright, um, there's a number of different software programs out there that you can um, 
purchase uh, to learn how to fly a, a radio controlled or RC helicopter or aircraft. Um, I just happen to uh, use real flight. Uh, I'll show you how it works. It hooks up to the computer. It uh, looks very similar to what you saw. Uh, it just doesn't have an antenna. In place of the antenna, it has a USB cable to go into the computer. So the result is uh, some really spectacular aerial video and uh, aerial photography sequences.